Hey there, this is Kara from Karen Co Creative. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and everything you need to run your business online, um, especially for service providers. And of course, here on YouTube, we're doing the DIY bit. Um, today, I have a very quick tutorial showing you how to use the free version of the Yoast SEO plugin to optimize your website. So let me take you over my shoulder and show you. This is particularly for blog posts. If I come into my website, for instance, and come to the posts. Um, you can see here, this little feather, this is for readability, which I don't pay attention to that much, to be honest. And this here is the SEO optimization. So essentially, if I bothered to do the SEO, it's green. If I didn't, you see it naturally falls in this orange or red. Um, so I do that for most of the posts when I have time. Um, you can see there's, there's a window of time here where I did not do it at all. But um, I will show you what it looks like on a post that is optimized. So all you need to do is install the Yoast SEO plugin and run through the little bit of setup. You do not need to pay for anything. This is all available on the free version. On the free version um, on WordPress, no matter what theme you have, you will see somewhere underneath um, it might not be right beneath the text. If you have some other things installed, it might be like beneath this, for instance. Um, so just look for it, but you will have a Yoast SEO panel and double check it may be like this and you might need to expand it. Um, so what you basically do is you put in a key phrase and you can put in a lot of effort into finding the exact keyword or focus key phrase you want to rank for. I tend to just think, what would somebody type into Google if they were looking for the information that is in this blog post. As simple as that, how would they type it in? Um, and so just think about like how you do it. Some people might not even have the how to, they might just have the create a lead magnet or something like that. So um, just do it that way, if that's easier for you. If you do want to go and research keywords, you can. But basically what will happen is it'll take that keyword, it will tell you all the things you need to do to make your SEO good. So you can see here, I've done all that here. I'm gonna go into one of my posts that's not optimized yet, and I will show you how it looks to optimize it. So let's see this one. I did this one yesterday, oh well. So basically what I do is I go ahead and I write out my blog posts and I add anything I want to add to it. I just go ahead and do all of this. I load it in. And then I come down here and I add in the focus key phrase. Um, so here are two, 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 send lead magnet and free MailChimp. But the one thing I do when I'm thinking about the key phrases is I take out a lot of the extra, like send a lead magnet. I took out the A maybe. So I just go ahead and remove any of that stuff. Um, so here we'll go, you open up this, it'll tell you everything that's wrong. No outbound links, it wants some outbound links. Um, so I can do that here if you're using MailChimp. And I'm not an affiliate, so I don't have an affiliate link. Um, brand new tab, so now I have an outbound link. Let's see that it's happy now. See, so that one, outbound links, good job. Meta description length, no meta description has been specified. So that's this thing here. Um, it wants the key phrase close to the top. Um, quick tutorial for how to send lead magnet in free MailChimp. Updated 2022. Um, how to send your lead magnet or freebie. So now it's happy about that. SEO title width. The SEO title is wider than the viewable limit. So that's this. So you can go ahead and if your WordPress is showing things like this, you can go ahead and delete. So I was just doing the site title was enough. Now I have a separator dangling. So I'm gonna get rid of that thing, the separator too. So it's still green. Um, and now actually I'm, I'm at green smiley face, um, but it wants more words. I'm not going to do that now. Image key phrase images on this page do not have the attributes. So is there an image? There is no image. All right. So if there was an image, 
I could add that. Um, key phrase and length. The key phrase contains five content words. I'm going to keep it because I can't make it shorter. I could get the free off. I'm going to leave that. Key phrase and SEO title. Try to write your... Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of your. So I got out of the title and I'm also going to get rid of... So I'm just going to copy that. Okay. And now it is optimized. You see both things are green. So that's a really simple thing that you can do. Anytime you write a blog post, go in and make sure that you do these things. Sometimes it wants the key phrase um, density. So you'll want to go put the key phrase up in the text. Um, sometimes it'll say it's in there too much and you want to get out. So those are the things that you can do every time you write a blog post to make sure that it'll work for you and be more discoverable to search engines. All right, if you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to like it. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel so that you're notified about future videos.